we doing this week? Let's try something famous. Hello again, I'm Nathan, this is Whiskey Wednesday, welcome back to What's My Fault. As I said, famous, so famous grouse, this is the Smoky Black, it's a blended smoky peaty smooth aromatic whiskey so hmm. interesting i've not really had a famous grouse believe it or not and i thought i'd try this one because it was on sale and um, it's got a bit of peat in it so that'll be interesting 40 percent as you expect for a blended scotch like this right stay let's open this up so I prefer bottles that have a cork, but hmm. oh well, such is life, I guess. Glug, 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 glug. Nice amber colour. I don't know if they use colour or not. I don't think it will say on here at all. I don't think it will, but some do, some don't. Who knows? Put that down because this isn't the most stable. Okay then. Very, very, very slight peat smokiness to it. Hmm. So there's definitely the kind of campfire smoke, a little bit of medicinal tones, a little bit of kind of sea air to it. Not a lot else really. Mm, now a little bit of kind of honey tones, not a lot, just a little bit of sweetness. Not too much sort of alcohol burn in the nose, it's quite low, so... Hmm, maybe a little bit of black pepper? Hmm, a little bit of lemon maybe? Hmm. Anyway, let's try. Hmm, quite surprising. It does have more of a peatiness than I would think it would have. Being famous, I was quite a sort of low cost whiskey. I think this cost me about £15. It's about $10, $20, something like that on sale, which isn't bad. Yeah, it's definitely got the, the kind of salty aftertones to it, which is always quite pleasant. More of an alcohol burn than I'd expect for 40%. It doesn't have many other flavours. A little bit of sweetness to it. Just a little bit, not a lot. A little bit of wood, wood smoke. Yeah, it's got a little bit of the kind of medicinal tones, but they're so, so sort of faint and mellow that there's not really a huge amount going on there. It's actually quite pleasant just to kind of sip. It's not overpowering like things like Lafroy and Ardbeg and things like that, where the, the sort of peatiness of it and the medicinal notes really kind of hit you in the face. This is more of a kind of subtle, just kind of ease you into it. So if you you haven't had peated whiskies, this might actually be quite a nice introduction because it is kind of mellow to be honest. It's something you could quite happily just pour and drink and not think about it. It's not overly difficult. It's got some interest to it. Hmm. The slight fruitiness I'm picking up now, just a little bit. Kind of apply, I guess, is probably the best way to describe it. Not too crisp, just a little bit of the apple crispness to it. Hmm, let's see what it's like when we start adding things to it. Hey, everything's set up. What I will quickly do, always forget to do this. So, massive malt, say about this. I right, taste your note, medium, quite smoky, solid peat note. Remy sweetness, touch of dry wood on the palate, medium balance, peat smoke, caramel spice. Finish long, slightly peaty. Well, yeah, I picked up a little bit more than that with a made to be me. Who knows? Okay, first of all, as we always do, drop of water. 
and see if that opens up anything different in it. Hmm. More wood smoke. That's interesting. The kind of oaky kind of wood smoke rather than the peaty wood smoke. Like sort of barrel char type of smokiness. Hmm. That does bring the peatiness quite forward. It's actually quite nice. More salt forward than it was previously. Hmm. That's rather interesting. I actually quite like that. I may actually put that in my nice decanter and have that as a, a more frequent drinker, as it were. I won't say daily, because I don't necessarily drink daily, but you know what life is like. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. As always, the oh, not quite a full one. Pepsi and coffee, and on the fox, and an old fashioned. And I'm not bothering with the orange peel because it's a lot of hassle. I don't eat all orange, I tend to have a bit of a reaction to the orange, to be honest. So it tends to dry out my skin, especially my lips, and uh, it's not, not pleasant at all. So I don't tend to eat many oranges. So it's kind of a waste to have oranges just for the orange peel for a drink to do some videos. Okay, I have the occasional old fashioned as well, but yeah. It's a waste, so I'm not doing it anymore. Oops. Mix that, and mix up the old fashioned. I might see if I can get some orange bitters instead to get that citrus flavour in the old fashioned still, but we shall see I guess. Da, 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 da. Right, everything ready. Okay, let's try with the Pepsi. Not a lot on the nose, I wouldn't expect a lot because it was quite subtle. Slightly smoky, that's quite nice. Hmm. It's not very alcohol forward. You can tell a little bit there, you kind of have the, the alcohol taste the, just in the finish. There's not the saltiness or the sort of peatiness to it, it's just a little bit smoky. Nice, it's subtle, I don't mind that at all. Hmm. A little bit of sweetness, but no smoke or anything else. Hmm. That's interesting. That's actually quite nice. That's one of the first whiskies I've tried with ice, but it hasn't completely destroyed it. Usually when I've put ice with them, you taste alcohol and that's it. But that, it actually, it brings out the peatiness of it. So what I'm getting with that is the, the kind of wood tones. It's very wood kind of bitterness to it. It starts off with the kind of saltiness from the peat. Goes into the kind of like the, the woody, oaky flavours. A little bit of char in it and a little bit of smoke. And then it ends with more of the kind of alcohol ethanol flavour. But that's not too bad because like I said a lot of time when you cool down whiskey you get all the harsh alcohol flavours and nothing else but that actually spins it a little bit and gives me the the kind of peaty notes first which I quite like because you know me I like all the salty peaty medicinal and all that but there's no medicinal notes to it even you know when it's just neat there's only a little bit of that but there's none of that in there it strips all that out it strips out some of the other stuff any of the sweetness and just made the kind of the woody sort of time for words the woody bitterness and the salty sort of sea air type of qualities you get with peat so that's interesting hmm hmm once again, like it did with the early whiskies, like the Arbeg and the Lefroig and so on. 
it changed its more earthy, woody tones to the coffee rather than just plain coffee. Hmm. It's pleasant. It's not as nice as some of the other ones. So I wouldn't put it in my coffee, generally speaking, but it's not unpleasant by any means. Not a lot of the whiskey left in it. Honestly, didn't think there would be. The whiskey is too subtle for mixing in the cocktail. So the Coke was okay. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot. Not a lot at all. So. Mm. Back to that. Mm. Mm. So, as an introduction to peated whiskey, I think you couldn't go wrong with this, to be honest. It's got all of the qualities there, but kind of just toned down and just hints of it. So you get an idea of the, the little bit of medicinal, not a huge amount, just kind of like a little hint of it. You get the wood smoke and you get the saltiness, which you usually get repeated. So that is quite nice. I would highly recommend that. For the price as well, you can't go wrong with that. Definitely one that isn't made to be mixed. It's just made to be enjoyed neat and it does go down quite easy. I'm impressed. Well done, guys. That's actually really nice. So, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Please join me again soon. I'll be doing a charity live stream stream this coming Sunday, I think, for cancer charities of some kind. I've decided exactly what yet. A little bit short notice because I'm changing jobs and all sorts of stuff happening. So, I'll be doing a charity stream weekend, mainly gaming. Might throw in some whiskey. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click the like button as well. That would be really, really nice. Tell some other people to come and watch me. I would really appreciate that as well. Come see me next time. Thanks a lot.